Hi, I'm Dave from Great West Equipment. Today we're here to do a walk around on a Volvo articulated hauler and discuss some of the finer points. Here we have our main cabin entrance. Three point contact is easy to assume. We have our switch right here. This is an emergency switch. This is only to be used in the case of emergencies, fires. This will shut down the complete machine, the engine, and all the electronics associated with it. Also, to complement our emergency switch, we also have a mechanical master switch located right up here in the front corner of the battery box that is not to be used for anything other than safety and maintenance and putting locks and gang locks on. It is not to be used for any normal circumstances. Um, keep in mind that our master switch is electronically controlled by our ignition switch. When we turn our ignition switch on, our master switch is controlled automatically. Lastly, we have our batteries in here with quick access to our transmission oil level, and we can also check our transmission oil level in the dash. Topic of discussion here I think would be Volvo is very thorough at making a truck that is quality as far as accessibility and serviceability. Here we can see our hood tilts up 90 degrees from the back side giving us best in class accessibility to everything on the engine compartment. As well as for end user we've got ground level fueling, we've got ground level blowing of our radiators out and even as far as technicians go ground level changing of fuel filters as well as with removal of one bolt, this cooling package can swing out of the way. And we again, we mentioned before, we've got our on-demand fans on both sides, saving us a substantial amount of fuel. And then carrying on with that conversation, here we have a better vantage point. You can see with our hood hinging at the back, again, our whole engine compartment, every option in here is accessible. Of some of our competitors, the hood hinges from here and goes this way, so it opens up the hood compartment. Nowhere is near as well, the biggest, determining the biggest benefit that we have is we have an in-house ladder that is secured so you can maintain three-point contact. With a hood that opens from this way, you don't gain the access on the front here and you need a step ladder here to climb. It's a safety hazard, there's more opportunities for slips, trips and falls. Again, here we have ground level accessibility for our, our oil filters as well as we can visually inspect many of our components for our end users, belt transmission, leaks, things like that. Our DEF tank as well is polarized via the cap. The blue cap sig uh, signifies the DEF as well as they're physically far apart and also offering ground level filling. Ease of access again to lift our hood. Simply turn the screw and up the hood goes. And for a fail safe, if our batteries are dead or our hydro pack had failed, we can simply go to our manual actuator here put this on and we can physically pump up our cab. Some of our competitors don't have that. They have a linear actuator and you have to use a wrench on it. It'd be quite arduous if the batteries are dead. Ease of access for our air filter. As mentioned earlier, our air filter has a filter mine built into the software, into the software so that you don't need to physically look at our air filter. Our cooling fans are all on demand. They do not run unless the requirement is there. Saves a substantial amount of fuel on both sides of the cooling. Here is our exhaust after treatment system. It's all consolidated into one cavity here. Uh, majority of the sensors, our serviceable DPF is all in there as well. We have a, it is cooled by electric fans that are again on demand. Should there be any heat in there, the fans will come on and expel all the heat. Here we have our HVAC. We have our HVAC box here with three different options for air filters. We have a high carbon filter for odor. We have our common filter for dust and organics, as well as an asbestos filter for applications as needed. Here we have our electric fans for our air conditioning. They're on demand, more potential fuel savings. Here we'll discuss our air tank. High and dry out of the way, taking any hits. It's uh, got a uh, water drain here, ease of access. Here we have our Breathers on every compartment. It's important to know that some of our competitors don't use a breather. They simply use a rain cap. Ours use a, a paper filter to catch any dust on the way in. We all know our tanks contract and expand with heat. That air movement in and out of the tank picks up dust. Again, some of our competitors don't use a filter, so you're getting impurities into your tank. Our wet, our wet brake and our hydraulic tank are located physically higher than some of our competitors. The benefit to that is, is we have a positive pressure on our pumps to eliminate any potential cavitation. Uh, we get a longer pump serviceability out of that as well. Femco drains or Enviro drains, majority or all of our components, including our coolant, with the exception of the differentials for the most part, have a Femco drain or Enviro drain. Uh, there's no spillage, no environmental impacts. 
Here we have our hitch. Our hitch is located physically higher from the ground than many of our, ma our competing manufacturers. Gives us an obvious advantage. Here is our optional box heating. In our hitch, we have a one-piece hitch. It is a ductile iron and it uses tapered roller bearings and quality seals. Many of our manufacturers use a pin and bushing. Um, obviously, it wears premature and there's daily greasing required. With ours, there's no greasing regiment required. Attached to our hitch is our rear frame. Our rear frame offers a lifetime warranty if purchased at the initial purchase. It is not transferable. It is done through a one-piece plate and they are all robot welded. There's no small pieces of plates put together. Here we have our brake accumulators. Uh, it's important to realize there is a brake accumulator manifold on the tractor as well as on the trailer and they are separate entities from each other. Should braking fail on the tractor or the trailer, we will have an, an alternative means from the opposing side. Here continuing on, we have our ease of access for our grease lines, no climbing, uh, remote, well, remote mounted whips. We have factory installed tailgate options, option to put it on or to take it off. The posts can come off as well as the whole tailgate can come off. If you look further down in here, our walking beam has better serviceability than many of our competitors. And also it offers a uh, mounting fixture on each side of the walking beam, so it's double captive. Many of our competitors only have it, just a pin outside the frame, so you get more of that torsional torque applied to it. Ours has a, what they call a saddle style, offering better structural integrity. Okay, at the rear of our machine, we should discuss Again, quality of components and ease of access. Torque rods, everything are easy to access, high and dry, not gonna take a hit. All of our axles on all of our models are wet brake with external cooling, offer a long service life. Carrying on with our ease of access, we have our walking beams and our suspension pucks. We have our grease fittings here, uh, ground level. We have our lock bar here for when our box is in the air. We can simply pull the pin Lock that up, offering improved safety. Carrying on with safety, we have a backup light and a backup camera that is OEM installed, as well as this is our box level sensor. Again, as we mentioned earlier, we can set box heights and everything alike. 